Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Today we've got Velma Dinkle, I think is her name. We're going to say that it is, for the sake of this episode. Velma Dinkle. Now, I know we're using the same headpiece as used for Cheshire Cat, but Nia had the perfect outfit, but didn't really have any that had good glasses, except for this, because she's kind of got the, the bob as well. Now, for perks, since Velma is very, very smart, she's clever as well. Those are two different things. As well as um, has a very keen eye. We've got autodidact, so we have medical knowledge, which I feel like Velma would very much have. This makes us heal people faster after we heal them slower. You'll see what that means. Visionary, because the picture just looked very concentrated, and I felt like that was very much Velma. So we can see generators or us within 32 meters. Um, pretty easy. Detective's hunch, because she's a detective. When a generator is completed, the auras of generators, chests, and totems within 64 meters are revealed to us. So these are kind of the same thing, but they both fit pretty good. And then appraisal. So you have a careful eye that notices what many overlook. If we find a chest that's opened, we can actually look through it again and get something else. So kind of cool. This is the best build that I could think of for Velma. I went through every perk multiple times. Couldn't quite get one that really nailed it. Uh, I was hoping to try to find one, like she's looking for her glasses or something, but really anything like that. So if you guys have a build you think would work better, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, let's go ahead and hop on in. Connor, I don't know if I can do this. This is like my least we favorite can, map out of all. You're the one that told me we could do it. We, this is our last I match. We, we've been doing, I've been doing this for an hour and 15 minutes. Whatever this match holds, this is it. I don't know where you went. I hope it's Ghostface or like someone in a mask. That'd be fitting. Oh, also, yeah, cue the montage. Man, I hate you so much. I hope he gets you. 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 Friend. You. Douchebag. You absolute scumbag. Why would you bring him down there? Why would you do that? What made you think that was any sort of a good idea? There's Dwight up there. I think it's best I just leave. Oh, duh, that didn't work. <laughs> that was a good teleport. Too bad I saw it coming. Well, what we gotta do? What we gotta do? What we gotta do? Ooh. Oh, I got stuck on a rock. That's going to be my downfall. No. Oh, yeah, I got stuck again. Good thing I could reset myself real quick.
frickin' you. I think I broke him. He's coming. Oh, oh, I see it! I see it in the distance! Go! Oh, oh, <laughs> no. Ah, oh, thanks for waiting, guys. That was so sweet of you. I'm out. Like, that super sucks. Don't die. Dude, oh man. I knew, I knew it was gonna happen. That's why I didn't grab the VHS first. I thought she'd go after the other chick though, because she's been tunneling so hard. She lied. The other person walked away. I think she's trying to draw me out. Yeah, she does have iron grasp. That's what I thought, because whenever I did the struggle, she just was straight forward to the hook. I was going to grab the tape from the TV, but I was hoping she'd come back and immediately go after the sable, because she's been tumbling so hard. She oh. didn't. Oh, man, darn. I was going to say, she's just going to come after me, though. I'm watching you, I feel like I'm watching one of the bots. That good, huh? She likes to be funny. She likes to bait you. Hard. Yeah, I kind of oh, figured that was going to happen. That's the end for you. <laughs> From the last, like, seven games. Did you just bring the killer to me, Meg? If so, I'm gonna dropkick you. Um, any news on who it is? I think it, they're upstairs. I think they're upstairs, too. I haven't heard anything. Oh, oh I know that music. Who is it? Oh, a uh, gunslinger. Deathslinger. Cowboy man. Oh gosh! Well, damn it. Oh, you're coming right towards us. Well, it makes you feel better. I am gonna die. <laughs> I cannot dodge Deathslinger for the life of me. And I'm exposed. Awesome! <laughs> oh my gosh, what even, what even is this game? And he's got thanatophobia, so for each person who's injured, we do things slower. So that's cool. Alright, he's coming upstairs. I'm gonna get our boy. Do it. I'm gonna... Uh, he's chasing somebody over to whoever dropped down. Oh, cool. That, that's me. <sighs> yeah, I turned around. He was just, like, right there. I, I panic way too hard against him and Huntress that I don't remember to, like, wait till the last second and then do a hard right or a hard left. I just panic. And then I die. Which isn't super beneficial to my health. I'm so afraid. I'm going to try to find a chest so I can heal myself so that we don't have the natophobia active anymore. Oh, well that was convenient. Uh, fanatophobia is a totem, right? No, it's a perk. Ah, man. Yeah. It's honestly not too bad if it's just one person that's injured, but if we all get injured, he gets a bonus to the slowdown as well, so kind of rough. Okay. Did he grab someone else? 
So I think his terror radius is reduced when he's aiming down the sights, which I believe is one of his add-ons. Um, that's probably how he snuck up on me, too. Uh, no, don't do that. It's mm, unfortunate. I can heal the Claudette. And that would be pretty cool. But I don't know where she is. Oh, good grief. Where are you three? He got me cornered in a room. Oof. Uh, he's on the downstairs floor and he's headed to whoever who's. Yeah, she just popped a gen or blew it up. Stairs. Oh, hi, Claudette. Man, could you have not dropped right where we just unhooked someone? Hmm, maybe? Maybe don't do that? Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, she's gonna bring him right to me. Are you kidding me? Go away! Nobody loves you. I make my woman scream. I don't know what to do. We have so many gens that have quite a bit of progress on them. Fetch. If we're near him and he picks someone up, we get exposed. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh no! I'm still exposed. I am so sorry, Jake. Oh, yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> so he might still... He's probably still going for me, though. Yep, he's still going for you. Oh, man. Why are there two people not doing gens? Nobody else is doing anything, huh? I know! <laughs> I can only stop this guy for so long! No, 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 no. <laughs> that was a good idea, though. He tried to drag me into the pit, but he ended up just falling in it. <laughs> that worked out really well. So, pre-drop pallets with him, because he can, he can shoot you on the other side of it, but he can't reel you in to hit you. So you'll get injured, but he can't really, like, finish you off. Alright, they were finished healing each other. I don't know where he went. He, he dropped downstairs. I think this has been a good match thus far, though. He's got a lot of downs. A lot of downs. I mean, he's not bad. I'm just get. I'm not. I'm. I'm really bad against Deathslinger, but I've gotten really lucky with pallets. But I'm all out of pallets, so that's unfortunate. Okay, 
Okay, I'm in the showers downstairs. I made it away from him. Nice. Oh, we might actually get out of here. You were right, Jake. This is going to be the one. We got this. Bonner, I need you to you just have to not up. let it snowball. Just don't let it snowball. And knock on some wood. Oh, I'm always knocking on wood. I haven't really been able to use any of my perks, but we actually have used I've used Visionary and Detective's Hunch. Oh, come on. Do you know where he's at? No idea. He's on the opposite side of the basement from me. He's relatively close to me. Probably go get her, but I'm almost done with this gin. And that seems more beneficial. He's upstairs right now. Oh, that's not good. He's probably gonna drop in on me. He's not over there. Uh, yep, he's. Ahead Jake, of he's not upstairs. Up. He's not upstairs. That's a lie. That's a falsification. This is the opposite of upstairs. That gin in there is almost done. Uh, in the showers? Yeah. Alright, I'm running over to it if you want to run away from it. I'm trying. <laughs> this is silly. He doesn't have a good way around these pallets. Dude, I'm gonna go finish the gen for you. Please do. Please do. It's done. You're the best. <laughs> that shouldn't have worked. Oh, hi. It's you again. Did he see me? Or does he just have a really long terror radius? Go to an exit gate, we're almost done. Oh, I am. I'm going to. I'm abandoning this guy 100%, are you kidding me? He's dead on hook anyways. I've got to heal up first. You guys just go to a door. I'm just proud of myself that I didn't get down like at all. No. Well, please say he can't hear me. Okay, I'm on a door. Set it back to that door. Probably. See if you can up on the other door. Yep, he's going back, but I think I got time. Ah! Sorry, Jake. Whew. That was a good game. There we go. Let's go. <gasps> that felt good. I didn't get down at all, and I feel like I played him like a freaking fiddle, my dude. Yeah, just go. Yeah, Cla it. Claudette's got both doors she can go through. She was following. Oh, she's waiting. She's waiting she... for hatch or something. I don't know. She's just walking around downstairs. Oh, okay. okay. The hatch spawned right in front of her. I just watched it. Oh, Let's go. Let's go, Jake. That was so good. All right. Well, that was our lore accurate Velma build. If you guys have a build you think would work better, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, stay spooky. Toodles!